Here's number two, cashing out the wealth game by walking away. As you can see at the very top of this, you know what I'm saying? Your boy fully endorses this book. This is by my good friends, um, the creators of uh, Rich and Regular. This is a great book for everyone who is, especially in the black community, right? Um, it is definitely from, it's definitely for people who are living an everyday life and you're ready to just live the life that you want to live financially. This is not really the, the, um, uh, like, how do I say it? This is not the book that you want to read if you want inspiration. This is the book to read if you want practical steps on how to cash out, on how to really win in the wealth game. I think I have one, two, three, three books, four books around money, four books around mental, uh, because here's the truth. I can give you all the money books, all the money books in the world. But if you are not taking the time to grow mentally, internally, all these money books mean absolutely nothing. When I'm looking at the chapters of this book and I read this, uh, the book on their pre-book, right? You know, I love their their first call out is, you know, the wake up call It's really just um, helping you understand um, when to wake up. But what I really love about this book is they break this thing down into pretty much two, two, two sections. The first section is how to rethink about what I put like this, how to reprocess how you think about money, right? And then they break this thing down into the daily struggle. What I love about the daily struggle part is, what was my favorite chapter in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, put your money to work. The average person doesn't know how to put their money to work. We know how to struggle. We know how to put our time, right, in so we can work, so we can get the money back. But in this book, they're teaching you how to put your money to work to buy back your time and to make more money, right? Then they teach you freedom starts in your mind. That's the truth. If, 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 if you don't believe internally that, that you can be free, if you don't believe internally that you can have the financial freedom, you can have the house, you can have the cars, you can have no debt, that doesn't matter. Anything and everything that you're really, really, really wanting starts with your mind. And my friends over there at Rich and Regular, who have an amazing podcast, who have a who have an amazing show, um, they actually did a TV show um, as well, and they have a podcast with Success Magazine. Um, I love what they are doing. I fully endorse this at the very top, um, and and I just love how God is really using them. This is a great book to read with even you and your spouse. If you're married, it's a great book to read with you and your spouse because they're a couple and they're talking about how they work together with with their finances. They believe in the 50-50, really the 100-100 method. They call it 100-100. Some of us call it 50-50. They believe in a method of husband and wife bringing something to the table together and how they combine that and build wealth off of that. So this is a great book, Cashing Out, by my friends over there at Rich and Regular. Hey fam, quick question and we'll get right back to the show. Are you tired of worrying about your money? Are you tired of hidden fees and long waiting times for your paycheck? Look no further. You see, with my friends at Chime, the number one most loved online banking app, you can say goodbye to all of that and say hello to stress-free finances. You know, with Chime, you get paid up to two days early. That means no more waiting around for your paycheck. No more worrying about unexpected fees like some of these other other banks and no more credit checks or large security deposits. Chime is all about providing you with the financial freedom we all deserve. Don't take my word for it. I want you to try Chime out today and see for yourself why it's so loved by many of our friends. Visit anthonyoneal.com forward slash Chime or click the link in today's show notes to get started and take control of your finances. Speaking of your finances, let's get back to today's show that's helping you. Peace out. My next book comes from my good friend, one of my closest friends and my personal pastor, uh, Pastor Stephen Chandler, called Stop Waiting for Permission. So, so thousands of these books a uh, week one, uh, but God created you for greatness. And I think what I love about what my close friend um, did in this book, right, is oftentimes we're waiting for others to confirm what we already know we should be doing. 
We're waiting for permission from our bosses to, to think differently. We're waiting for permission from the world, from our friends, from our society, to do the things that we know we're already called to do. We're waiting for permission to be great. We're waiting for permission to be accepted. And if God fearfully and wonderfully made you, you don't need permission from anybody at all. You need permission from God. And I promise you, if you're waiting for permission, you know, um, if, if you're waiting for permission to, to, to really live the life that you want to live, no, no, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I am so, so sorry. One of his premises in the book is, you know, um, harness your gifts, find your purpose and, and unleash your personal genius. All of us have gifts. All of us have a purpose and all of us have our own genius. Some people may say you're not a genius. Some people may say you're not a thought leader. Mm -mm. No, no, bump that. You have, you have to believe in yourself, right? And what I really love about this, a lot of people don't really understand how to really unlock their purpose. And one of his chapters inside this book, what chapter is it? Uh, chapter four, uh, chapter four, he really, he, he teaches us the keys on how to unlock our purpose. When you can unlock your purpose, you unlock your path. When you unlock your path, you unlock your profit. That's not even in the book. That's not even a book. But that's how I feel. When I unlocked my purpose, my assignment, then I had I, I was able to put a clear path to accomplish my purpose. When I put the clear path on that accomplished my purpose, it unlocked profit for my family. And if you're waiting for permission to unlock your purpose, if you're waiting for permission to unlock what God put inside of you, that's probably why you're living paycheck to paycheck because you're still waiting for permission. So in this book, he's going to teach you why you should want greatness, um, the importance of having no excuses and how to get over your excuses. He's going to teach you how to fuel yourself so you can get on the road trip to greatness. He's going to show you the steps on really how to really understand your purpose and unlock your purpose, right? He's going to really teach you um, how to do it big and not just alone. How you can do it big and how you can surround yourself with the right people. But I'm also going to show you that if you're going to have progress, you're going to have pain. But here's how you deal with the pain so you can have progress. Because I don't know anybody who's built something amazing, built something great, right? And did not have pain. Pain from losing friends, pain from having to walk away from a job, pain from maybe having to walk away from your business, pain from having to experience something. But because of that, watch this. Woo! Woo! Where there is pain, there is progress. Where there is pain, there's progression. Probably one of the best books I've read. Y'all heard me say this before, but I personally needed this book. Because I remember being told, you're not a thought leader. I remember being told, you don't have what it takes to build what you think you, you want to build. And a part of me came home and a part of me believed what they said. And I remember God telling me at that time, they're right. You're not a thought leader to them. I remember, I remember coming home and God was saying, you're right. Anthony, I specifically made you for specific people. The individual who told you that you're not a thought leader, I didn't make you for that particular individual, for that particular group of people. But there are a group of people who I made you for, who think you are a genius, who, who, who needs 
what I put on the inside of you. So stop trying to worry about what they said. Worry about what I put on the inside of you. Worry about why I created you and who I created you for. Continue growing, continue evolving, and you will bless and attract the people who I've called for you. And when I started reading this book, it just confirmed inside of me that there is a unique genius on the inside of me. And everybody has a unique genius inside of them. But how are you unlocking it? And this book blessed me tremendously. This is going to be in the show notes.